Hi, so in this video, I want to show you a little trick about writing documentation, diagram, and everything directly inside your Git repository. So if you are a GitLab user, good news for you, GitLab natively support something called Mermaid.js, which basically a DSL or domain specific language to write diagrams. And there is a lot of diagrams that's supported by Mermaid from flowchart, sequence diagram, class diagram, state diagram, gen chart, and everything. And for example, here I have a very simple example of how the flowchart works in GitLab using Mermaid. So actually it is a markdown file return something like this. So you have just a uh, triple backtick and then you say mermaid and inside it, you actually writing the DSL, the mermaid DSL. And then what happened is mermaid will figure things out for you and it will create a very, very beautiful diagram. And for example, if I want to change it, I can just copy one of the example here. For example, the Git graph uh, in here and then uh, once you do a preview, there will be a nice preview as well. So imagine you can create a lot of things from user journey uh, to class diagram to many, many things directly on your Git repository. So you get a lot, a lot of, uh, what is it? Simplicity and Git based workflow when dealing with diagrams because us, uh, software engineers usually do code directly. And I think we, we, we open repository most of the time compared to opening documentation tools like uh, Confluence and many other things. So I suggest you to try to write your diagram, your documentation directly inside your repository. And it is very, very easy and very, very uh, simple because now you can basically uh, tell in your readme, hey, this is the diagram about this feature, this particular feature. And you can imagine once you create a feature, you can create that feature plus the diagram that documents how it works. Very, very handy, right? And one more thing, actually, one simple, simple uh, bonus. Actually, not only GitLab supports Mermaid, it supports many, many other DSL like OpenAPI, like Swagger, it supports natively. So if you haven't tried already, uh, try from the simple one, which is the Mermaid inside, inside Markdown in GitLab. And if you are GitLab, you said good news. Let's try it out. And I think it is very, very good news for us. Okay, uh, I think that's it for now. And good luck.